Hi guys, so I'm on daycare today, and uh, as you know, we run a, a daycare business in uh, in, in South Wales, um, and we're renowned for having quite a few dogs. Just some of them. There's a few handlers, so I've uh, I kicked to the back so I can do this video in peace. Um, they are all following, um, and I think what I wanted to do here was um, was talk to you a little bit about. Um, Dog behaviours such as, uh, well, one of the more common ones we get is the dog aggression. Um, the dogs that are a bit aggressive towards other dogs. Um, now, just sticking with that particular subject and not aggression in general, and this is important because there's a lot of different reasons why dogs react, um, but let's just understand one thing about aggression. Um, on the whole, definitely on the whole, but um, but in dogs, let's understand one thing that dog reacts um, to a feeling or emotion they have, which um, triggers an aggressive reaction. Um, an aggression could be anything from a bark, to a growl, to a snarl, to a bite. It doesn't always have to end up in a bite. It could be anything that is displayed, just like a human, aggression can be verbal as well as physical. Um, now, <clears throat> as you know, um, uh, we get to deal with a lot of different types of dogs, breeds, types of personalities, uh, and really, the personality is one of the key subjects. I've spoken about this before, understanding a dog's personality and knowing their motivations and thresholds is key. One of the keys to having a successful walk, certainly with a number of dogs, Um, but secondary is definitely uh, um, uh, probably equally as important is understanding the dog's reaction. So if we have a dog that is displaying aggression, um, certainly towards other dogs, then knowing what the reason is behind the aggression, and normally it's a fear-based reaction, um, then we can help get that dog and adjust that dog to trust the other dogs here. And what we tend to find is sometimes we can have a single dog that may react to one dog whilst walking, but come to daycare, have maybe 30 dogs around them and not have a single reaction. Um, that is down to planning though. That's making sure we've assessed, um, put measures in place to ensure the dog can't react or won't react or minimize the reaction. Um, you have to bear with me as I trundle through this high density woodland area. Hi oh guys, keep going. Yoo-hoo! Um, yeah, but, uh, but knowing their threshold and their triggers can help us identify when and where they're more likely to react. And so, in turn, give them a better experience with the other dogs. It's really dense. Um, and then combine that with their personality um, also helps us identify um, or helps me identify when I need to be proactive in something with a dog such as putting them on a lead, reining them back in a bit uh, or even just keeping them on the lead, putting muzzles on them um, whatever it might be um, Once I've done the initial assessment on a dog and found it, its thresholds um, and trigger points, if they have a behaviour, it's not, not uh, every dog that comes to daycare obviously has any behaviour problems, majority don't, just some do. Um, but in general, even when I'm working on a one-to-one -one basis, um, these are all the important things I need to do before I can establish training plan or um, any kind of action plan to um, help the dog in any way and owner. Um, now, personalities, we're in terms of reactions to personalities, dogs sometimes are labeled as aggressive. Well, that's incorrect anyway, it's a reaction for a starter. 
uh, but they're labelled as aggressive when um, they tell a dog off for being in their space, which I find completely absurd because, you know, if somebody came into my face, they may be friendly, but I may tell them back off. It's a bit too much, I don't know who you are. Um, and the dog's way of communicating is to tell them off. That's, that's what they do. So um, think about that next time. Um, have a think about um, somebody coming into your house, for instance, which is your personal space, it's your kingdom. Imagine somebody coming into your house, no matter how friendly they are, and just helping themselves to the cupboard, see what's in there, see what you wear every day, see what food you eat. Um, without an invitation, well, that's not very fair and that's not very good, is it? It holds no security for you. And the same with dogs. A dog comes up and sniffs, and particularly more so if they don't come out of their space when they're asked to do so, then you can expect a dog to react. Um, just because a dog is reacting, that doesn't um, automatically dub them as having a behavior problem. It could just be a tolerance level, which everyone has different tolerances, including dogs and animals. Okay, I'll give you a few more seconds of enjoyment with the dogs. You can see them interacting. You see, we've got a few that do have muzzles, and others that don't. And the ones that have muzzles, don't necessarily have they ever reacted, but we just precaution. Uh, Oh, my little big stick. Isn't it great watching them all? I love it. There's many more behind as well. Not sure if the others have caught up yet. Handlers I'm talking about. I just see them in the bushes at the back. I've told them to bugger off whilst I do this. <laughs> Perhaps they'll pop their heads out in a minute. Bearing in mind, I'm also handling three leaded dogs. Whilst filming, whilst watching, and making sure they all say, oh, I got help as well, but... Oh, there we are, there's some of them there. They're behind. Okay, catch you later.